The 15th National Competitiveness Forum was on the theme, the role of the public and private sector in realizing the knowledge economy agenda in Uganda. In a statement, the Finance Minister Matia Kasaija reaffirmed government's commitment to creating an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive, especially in industries that align with the tenfold strategy. The private sector remains the engine that will drive Uganda's transmission, transition to a knowledge-based economy. Distinguished friends, today's forum is not just about discussing policy. It is about shaping the future of our country. He also highlighted some of the 2024-2025 financial year investment focus in relation to science, technology and innovation, noting that government has committed about 257 billion shillings to bolster STI with substantial allocations towards key projects. We will upgrade the national backbone infrastructure to enhance connectivity across the greater Kampala metropolitan area. These investments in STI and the digital transformation are fully aligned with our broader goals under the 10 Ford growth and the NDP4 priorities to drive inclusive growth and wealth creation. In her keynote speech, the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Monique Omsenero, emphasized the importance of data collection and investing significant resources on research and development to foster the knowledge-based economy. The data may be lacking or it may be incomplete or disorganized. It cannot give us what we need. Developed nations are meticulous on data. They collect their data and they collect our data. And for us all the time, they tell you, oh, data is the gold. And we pass it and we leave it there. But we are actually missing the beginning of knowledge. As Uganda strives to achieve a US dollar 500 billion economy by 2040, technology-led productivity is a necessary condition. And this will require strategic investment and a cultural shift. Uh, except for a few changes that have been made in, uh, I think, about uh, two years ago, uh, we've really based our curriculum on very old science, for lack of a better phrase. So if we are to catch up with, for instance, the current and next revolution of AI going to the space, we need to have a shift from that old science to uh, to more innovative and uh, new science, again for lack of a better phrase. The appreciation for starting something from zero uh, should be there first in the culture. Then the rest of these things will, will follow, like uh, the different policies, the different financial support uh, agreements, issues of mergers, issues of collaborations. The insights at this forum will shape the STI strategy and guide the implementation of the knowledge economy component of Uganda's tenfold growth strategy and the National Development Plan for Dennis Igoa for UBC News.